Thank Sorry. you, Admiral. Now that the Israelis have canceled this visit, is the U.S. moving closer toward withholding or conditioning weapons to Israel? Is that something that Secretary Austin might raise during his meeting with the defense, Israeli defense minister tomorrow? I'm not going to get into hypotheticals and, uh, uh, and speculate about that one way or the other. Why does the administration believe that the right path for the U.S. here is to conduct these airdrops to build this pier, but not to leverage everything it can, including conditions on weapons, to open up more land routes and better protect civilians in Gaza? We have, I, I would take issue with this idea that we're not leveraging everything we can. First of all, it's not a leveraging exercise. It's not about uh, uh, trying to, to uh, to use some sort of power dynamics here with our good friend and ally Israel. It's about helping them defend themselves. I, I think we need to remember what happened on the 7th of October. Number two, uh, from the very beginning, uh, we have at the same time, as we've been providing them the capabilities, we've also been able to influence some of their decisions on the ground and the, some of the way they have prosecuted operations, and in, including increasing the amount of humanitarian assistance that gets in. It's not enough. I recognize that. A lot more needs to be done. Uh, but we believe you can do both at the same time, and that's the approach that we've been taking. Uh, 